We are gathered today to celebrate the union of Mark and Victoria. Your marriage will be a lifelong promise to love, respect, trust, and honor each other through the good, the bad, and the unexpected. The union represents your commitment to support one another as individual beings, but also share your joys, sorrows, and dreams as one. A strong bond works in unison not only to nurture the best parts of your personalities, but to understand each other's differences and flaws. You are committing to learn how to grow alongside one another while remembering to keep an open mind throughout your journey today. You gain an equal partner that will be your confidant, your defender, and your motivator through all of your aspirations and all of your goals. You will celebrate each accomplishment, provide peace through every setback, and most importantly, give love in life's both big and little moments. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many thanks to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, dancing partner, even teacher, for you have learned much from one another. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Love is patient and kind, and love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Mark, you came into my life at the exact right time. Victoria, the first time I met you, your smile lit up the room. Our conversation flowed so easily. You would have thought we had known each other for a long time. As a little girl, I set out goals for myself and slowly but surely, I ticked off each one. To achieve those goals, I had to be selfish with my heart and I had accepted that there would be missing pieces. But that February we met, those missing pieces of my heart started to fill up. Your work ethic and drive push me to become better every day. You never back down from a challenge. And I admire the care you provide, patience every day. You are the most thoughtful man I have ever met and you are so patient with me. I love that you let me live my best life and I can't wait for us to live our best life together. Over the last few years, we've had a lot of challenges and changes from getting new jobs, moving to a new city, to getting married. It's been busy, but we've done it together. Through all the highs and lows we have ahead, I'll be there to support you and be your biggest cheerleader. You always ask me how much I love you, but love's tough to measure. To me, love is something we actively do. It is a series of choices we make every day and promises we keep to each other. As we begin our life together in front of those whom we are closest to and make the following vows. But I see these vows not just as promises, but privileges. I get to laugh with you and cry with you. I get to run with you and walk with you, but metaphorically, not physically, because I don't want to run. <laughs> Build with you and live with you. I promise to always provide my medical expertise anytime you get sick or injured. As we both know, you are not a good patient and tend to forget everything you learned in medical school. I promise to always unclog the drain, even though only one of us has long hair. I promise to always be there to give you a big hug when you've had a long day. You are the one I get to start a family with and raise a fleet of corgis with. I get to wake up with you and drink coffee with you every weekend. I promise to continue to challenge you become the best version of yourself. I love all the adventures we've had, and I'm excited for many more. I know it's not going to be easy, as we have already experienced so many life changes, but I couldn't imagine anyone else to experience those highs and lows with. With kindness, respect, and trust, I promise to stick by your side through the challenges and triumphs to create a wonderful life together. These vows I promise to you until I am no more. I love you. Victoria, I choose you every day and always. These are the hands of your partner. 
young and strong and full of love, holding your hands as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will hold you and comfort you in grief and uncertainty. These are the hands that will hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength. And these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. And by the power not vested in me, by the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the brown. There aren't many people I would travel across the country for. If you threw in a pandemic and a toddler, my list is really, really, really short. But Victoria topped that list and that mark was blue. So cheers to my beautiful, brilliant best friend who has now found her beautiful, brilliant saint. And this is Tamar. The purpose of having a, a significant other is to find someone who brings out the best in you, who helps you grow in areas where you need to. And before you see that, she is his calming force and his number one fan. We could not be happier to have her as part of our family. Thoughtful, spontaneous, competitive, and loving. A pretty good collection of descriptions if you ask me. He's gone by many other names as well. Casual, Vintage Raw, Marky Mark, but to me these can all be put into one word. Rough. I love you and wish you both many years of happiness to come. Cheers. Aww.